Well, hello everyone. Welcome to a new exciting video on the MKMR, and this is Alan. Um, we've got some new rolling stock that we want to show you, and I uh, want to talk about uh, uh, something uh, on a car that uh, I'd gotten a few weeks ago. This is the Rapido Center Beams, and we're going to give a big shout out to uh, Mr. Bob of Bob's Man Cave and uh and uh tell you know i tell you what he uh he showed uh, uh, a video on uh, this car here talking about it uh but he could tell that there was a little bit of a problem as he's going through the curves you know one of his curves i had the same problem going through my radiuses these are supposed to be spec for 11 inch radiuses but there is a minor little problem or catch that stops that from happening or stops it from going through a curve smoothly there's some resistance and here's the, the reason with the light on with this little pointer I'm going to show you guys this hose here which is attached to the coupler box and right here with the wheel or with the car like it is there is no catch right here because there's a lot of flex you can see you can see that there's a lot of flex in the trucks but when the truck or when the car is setting on the track it catches that right here it catches that little hose and so what Bob did to fix that he took a pair of nippers like this here now this is my uh, uh, mr. tools and he clipped just the round part just the round part of that hose there I'll show you I'll clip mine I'm going to do mine off camera, but I'll show you and then show you the end results. After doing that, the car rolls through the radiuses and curves like it should. Now let me let me pause and I'll show you the end after I've cut that. Okay. There's the end results. There's those two pieces that are missing. And this is the end results of it. Uh, you still have the, you still have your hose there, or your to the to up to the up to the coupler here, but you have much more play as you should have with your wheel. You can see I done the same thing. On this end as well I've got one more car that I will do that on and then I'll show you guys in results on there so uh, when I was trying to show this earlier my car kind of kind of done a flip over on me and <laughs> and uh, had to stop the video and redo it but uh, anyway that took care of the problem and Bob thank you for pointing this out to us i appreciate that a, a a lot thanks again bob for doing that uh some guys i think have um replaced the coupler with a with the micro trains coupler i think i'm just going to leave mine uh as it is and that because of the paint and everything like that i don't want to spoil the paint on there and my couplers seem to work pretty good so as long as they do pretty good with when pulling uh, we'll just leave things alone, but I'm going to take this light off again here and We'll show you these uh, new cars that I got Let me pause one more time Okay, you guys Here's the new cars that I got This is one of them. This is my uh, It's a uh, Call it a heavyweight depressed center 
flat. This is a TTX uh, car. I really, really like how this is done with the white paint, black, and it's all solid metal. It's uh, microtrains. And uh, this number is uh, road number Q, Q TTX13532. And like I say, I really like how, try not to move my camera around too much, but I really like how that's detailed. And so moving on to the next one is my is my cotton belt 8005 I don't know if you guys can read the uh, read the wording on there or not trying to get the camera to focus here a little bit Maybe we can that's uh, not Sometimes it pulls it in and sometimes it don't. Thought maybe that. There it goes. Now it's going to read the writing on there. Like I say again, this is a cotton belt. And this weathered little jewel is uh, ETTX 850 or 852, um, excuse me. 068 852 068 it's a santa fe uh santa fe burlington northern um yeah or burlington northern santa fe tri-level uh auto rack um and uh very well weathered and uh let's see if i can turn this over so you guys can see the opposite side opposite side And there is the other side of this car. Very well weathered and detailed. And it looks really, really sharp. Move my hand here so you can see this end. I think Microtrains did a really good job on this. So, wanted to show you that. We're going to pause and then I'll show you the end results on after clipping those hoses. Okay. I'm going to do a quick move here with our 1474. Southern Pacific 1474. Once we set it on the main, go we'll back those center beams onto the siding. See how they do. See if that procedure helped there. I know it does help going through the curve, so. Hopefully it'll help going through this, these, uh, uh, my number four turnout.
Okay. I'll start up uh, 6444. Just got to do a little bit of Moving out of the yard so we can see if those center beams uh, roll through there. So we just got to do a little bit of shuffling of the shuffling of the engines in that. Okay, and we got 6444 set. Take you pee. And roll the center beams in reverse. Let's see if we can T95 is doing a shove. We're going to see if we can shove those. Uh... Hopefully they are going through the turnout with no problem. I've already uh, checked one of my center beams and it didn't have no problem. So I'm hoping that these don't either. We, the big test is to see how they do going through this turnout here. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, that's what we wanted to see. Mr. Bob, again, a big, big, big shout out to you. Thank you for pointing that out. Ah, we got plenty enough room too. Check this out. Look at the room there that we got between the locomotive and the cars. Oh, ho, ho. looks good. Okay, we're going to wheel her back.
Take her back out on the main. So guys, that's all you got to do to those uh, center beams if you're uh, you see some resistance or you're having a little trouble through your turnout. Just uh, snip those hoses. And there they go. They're going through there, as far as I can tell, with no problem. We're gonna we're gonna put it in reverse one more time, and we're gonna get eye level here, just to make sure that there ain't no lifting of the of the of the center beam. So I'm gonna get my chair out of here. Oh, get my chair. I apologize for all this moving around, but this is where you want to get at, right here. You want to see what's going on. Now we got her in reverse. Back it up a little bit, the camera. There may be just a tiny bit, tiny, tiny, tiny bit of lift. This is going speed step one here. On that Mississippi Delta car, there might be just a little bit of lift. Just a little bit. Just a just a hair bit. Now, if it had weight on it, that wouldn't do that. There might be just a little tiny bit of, of uh, lift, but not very much. It had if they had weight on there. That would hold those cars, but it didn't derail. That's that's the main thing. Sorry for my finger there. They didn't derail. So, and that's what I was looking for. Okay. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna pause here just a second. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm gonna give this just a slight, a slight whatever in my finger, and I hope these don't derail doing this. But here we go. There we go. There's no resistance in there at all. I took my I took my hand and. Like I say, I hope I don't derail these things. Try not to do that. These cars, these cars roll very, very well. I mean, very, very well. So, with snipping that deal, that takes care of the problem. So, again, big shout out to 
uh, Mr. Bob. Thanks, Bob. Bob's Man Cave. Guys, fix that. That's how you fix it. Um, big thumbs up. Give me a like. Hit the like button. Throw in a comment if you would like. I'd appreciate it. And thanks for watching the video. But this is for Bob. Thanks again, Bob. And we'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care.